Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Basic Graphs of Trigonometric Functions, Range of 10x. All right, so here goes the graph of y equals the tangent of x. Now, the odds of someone doing exactly what you tell them to do is pretty slim, but I guarantee that if you cram with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 master. So inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order this complete cram session. Earn an A, avoid a B, C, D, or whatever the failing letters are at your institution. All right, so we're going to cram the range of the tangent of X or tan X. But before we um, get into that, I want to orient you a little bit, okay? So this is our Cartesian coordinate plane, a horizontal x-axis, vertical y-axis. And we're going to discuss the tangent of an ang angle theta rather than x because we're calling the x-coordinate here x. We don't want to double up on variables. And this x is arbitrary. You could essentially use any variable you want, but it's just standard to say x. And it's also standard to use theta. Okay, so this is an angle theta in standard position. And when I say standard position, I mean the origin is at the vertex, the initial side is on the positive x axis, and the terminal side ends in quadrant one. It's an acute angle between zero degrees and our quadrantal angle 90 degrees. Okay, all these characteristics I just mentioned make it a reference angle. Acute, initial side, horizontal x-axis positive, terminal side within the zero degree, 90 degree range vertex at the origin, okay? So knowing that this is a standard reference angle will come in handy in other parts of trig, algebra two, and geometry. Now, um, this ray, okay, is uh, a line segment. And if you resolve it into its x-coordinate and y-coordinate, what you get looks like a right triangle. We're going to clarify our right triangle a little bit more. All right, so there you go. And we can say that the tangent of this particular angle theta is going to be the y-coordinate divided by the x-coordinate, not the magnitude of um, the segment. It's just the coordinate, the value of the y-coordinate divided by the x-coordinate. And let's say we weren't in a Cartesian coordinate plane and we weren't dealing with a white right triangle, but this was still our angle theta. It would be the measurement of the opposite side divided by the measurement of the um, side beneath the angle or the initial side of the angle or the adjacent side, however you call it in your particular course or institution. And if it's not in a Cartesian coordinate, the measurements of the sides are going to be positive. But here, y could be positive if you're in quadrant one and two, but it can also be negative if you're in quadrant three or four. So for any angles down here, the tangent um, can be negative, okay? And I think in, in quadrant four, and let's say you're in quadrant two and three, you can have a negative x value. So the tangent can be negative in quadrant two and four. Okay, so keep those specific attributes in mind as you solve other crazy problems in your class. Remember, it's all about avoiding a failing grade and gaining an A or higher. Okay, all right, so now that we've oriented ourselves in our minds, let's get into the actual question. What is the range of the function y, that's our dependent variable, is equivalent to the tangent of x? So I'll to give you a moment to think. Definitely press pause now if you need to, okay? Alrighty then, hopefully by now you are able to come up with an answer. And if not, that's completely fine. That's why we're here. Here is a graph of um, the range 
of y is equivalent to the tangent of x. And what I want you to recall is that um, the range is a set of possible all dependent variables, usually x, okay, or the values on the vertical axis. And remember, independent variables fall along the horizontal axis or the x-coordinate. Here in our um, graph, we have radian measurements for our independent variable or input variable, okay? And we see that the independent variable for this function is basically going to be all real numbers except for every um, odd integer of radical three over two, but that's not the answer, okay? I'm just trying to help you recall a few things. And you would have known that if you watched my other cram session on the domain of the tangent of x. Well, it makes sense to say from this um, depiction that the range is all real numbers because even though we have vertical asymptotes, you can see that um, this traverses in every direction from uh, up until positive infinity and also to negative infinity. And this is not a one-to-one -one function because two, has several, you know, it has several um, independent variables that yield the same answer. And that makes sense because as you circle the Cartesian coordinate and you get um, higher and higher angles or degrees, uh, zero degrees ha would have essentially the same answer as 360, you know, and so forth. Okay. All right. So, that's that. Oh, yes. A lot of people don't know specifically what this means, real numbers. Real numbers basically include rational and irrational numbers. Real numbers are all numbers except for the i. Okay. Sorry for the janky, um, this well scripting. And that's just basically the square root of negative one. This is imaginary. It's not considered real. Why it's called imaginary, I have no idea. But real numbers basically um, are rational numbers that are written in the form a over b as a fraction, where b is not equal to zero, but it can be one, OK? And real numbers also include ir irrational numbers that cannot be written as a over b with b not being equal to zero. Let me give you some examples. A real number would be, let's say, 2 over 1, normal fraction, okay? And the reason why this is a real number is because the numerator, um, it terminates, it doesn't repeat, or if you have, I mean, it terminates, okay? It, and real uh, rational numbers, I mean, can repeat. If you had 4 thirds, this is a rational number also, but an irrational number would be something like this, radical two over, let's say three, because the square root of two, it does not terminate. Go ahead, try to, you know, write it out, solve it. Your calculator may end at a specific spot, but this will actually continue on and on forever, just like pi, not pi radians, just the number pi i over 6 or something, okay? This is not a rational number, but it's still a real number. So the range, again, is going to be all real numbers, okay? So let this sink in for a moment. And if you want more clarity on real numbers, like I said before, inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com gain an A, avoid a D, E, F, or any other letter that follows after D, okay? All right. And remember, we're aiming for first place because second place is the first amongst last place, and that's not a good look.